Hey everyone, this is Tan with an amazing new template that we've created for academies, for courses, for this type of funnels and websites that you might want to create. So I just wanted to show you and how easy it is to edit it to start your next course. So you can create a new funnel, as you know, either from the funnel section or from our website directly. So this is a new template that we've created. It is very similar to our funnel and website academy that we have in Simuli. So basically it's using the same uh, layout itself. And we decided to make it as a template because a lot of you wanted to have a similar layout for your courses. So you can just select the funnel and add a name to it. Let's call it Academy. And click on Save. So just like that, we created our new academy. Uh, which comes with a lot of new uh, funnel steps inside. So here are the steps that we have created for you. Uh, basically, the first getting started is your landing page about the course, the academy that you have. Of course, everything is fully customizable. This is just a small landing page that you can use as a reference. Basically, the idea here is that you have, um, you know, explaining your course. Of course, it's nice to have a video their call to actions, so what they're going to learn, some snippets, like quick things of what they'll be learning in different sections, and again, call to action. Feel free to add whatever you wish to that page to make sure that your users actually sign up to access this course academy, whatever that is. So if you go into our funnel steps, you'll see the different ones that we have created. So here we have a pop-up for register or login. Usually if it's a free one, it's a free course, uh, you can just show that and people can sign up and you can of course edit and ask whatever questions you want. Now, if you want to actually uh, purchase access to the course, that's why we created the, the step three, which you can of course delete if you're not going to be selling any courses. There, people can actually purchase. So this is just a checkout page to which all you have to do is create the membership product in the store and link to it in this checkout so people can actually purchase the product, um, the membership and get access to the content itself. And here it is basically the content that is starting. It's from this step, course choice. Uh, again, these steps are basically optional. You can use some of them. You can use all of them. It is up to you. So here in the course choice is basically the first thing that people would see after they enter your course. Of course, fully customizable. You can add more uh, courses. This is just a small uh, example where you can have like the two main courses, let's say, with X amount of videos in each. Of course, you can have more so you can duplicate or add you know, more columns to it. Uh, here we have some different layouts about different videos and series that you can access as well. And of course, call to action. So you can have a call to action that actually goes to another, um, like a purchase of something extra, you know, download something, whatever you wish uh, as another step. If not, you can just delete this block if you don't want people to actually take other steps inside your funnel um, itself. So it is up to you. And here is the actual course section where it's actually uh, the content, how you can organize it. This is one of the layouts that we have created. Basically on the side you have these navigations, uh, which would, when you click, you just have to link them to a specific uh, page on your membership funnel. So if you like this design and you want to use it for, in this case, five courses, just duplicate this five times. But before that, there is a few things that you have to consider. First, what you have on the page, make sure that everything is the way you want it to be so that when you duplicate it, all the pages get the same design so you don't have to uh, recreate and add additional things. So the idea of this page is the navigation, the content area, a clear, clear call to action button that goes to the next lesson. Uh, and here we have a back to courses. So basically this link, you can link it to your uh, course choice, for example, or to another page where you show all the courses where people can access. Here we have some useful, useful videos. Uh, again, this is according to our academy, where we have some uh, such, um, you know, box sections where people can find more additional information general about what you're doing. 
again if you don't want to use it you can simply delete these sections if you are not interested to having something like that we add them you can use them if you wish uh, and the buttons themselves uh, you can link to a pop-up or a page whatever you wish in our case they are linked to this uh, video pop-ups so each button when you click on it it will actually show a pop-up with a video inside so just replace the video with your source uh, but again in this case you have six videos so you have to duplicate this one five more times to create all your six, six video uh, pop-ups so you have to link to each one individually very simple just double click select which video pop-up you want and that's it um, and at the end of course we have the call to action as well so this is one such design for video course now in the other step the step six we have a slightly different layout with the menu widget where you can also add sub menus which are just by dragging and dropping to the left um, to the right and you can make as you can see you can add additional sub menu so this way you can organize and create bigger uh, side navigations for your courses again it's it's optional and you can take it out if you wish so this is a different layout we call it version 2 if you want and you like this type of uh, layout and if you have more content uh, you can organize it like that uh, if not you can have the you can use the other one which had uh, like this type of a layout which we use basically the icon section with some minutes at the bottom again depends which design you like better we create both now if you haven't done before global columns when you create a course like in this case let's say that we like this design uh, again I, like I said prepare the page to be uh, like a template for all your courses so make sure everything is the right way you want it uh, because you'll be duplicating it for your other course uh, videos so in our case we are happy and satisfied or we like this uh, side navigation we can make it into a global column meaning that when we duplicate it and we want to change something that will affect all the columns on the right on the left so that uh, it is always syncing between all the pages that we have so here we can do it like this and have here save current column let's call it side nav and submit now when we do changes here and we have we duplicated let's say 10 times when we do one change here it will reflect on all the 10 duplications because they all have the global column so this is very very important when building courses because otherwise you have to edit 10 times your site navigation which is can be a real real pain so make sure you make them global ones now the same thing goes for these columns here now if you want to have such set of videos at the bottom make sure you make each one a global one uh, because if you want to change a link a description uh, uh, anything you don't want to change it to everyone of your uh, pages that you have duplicated so make sure you make those global as well so define them as let's say box one um, and then you know define them box six up to six and this way when you cr use this as a um, as a as a template basically for your course two for your course three course five course five course ten uh, course ten uh, they will all have the global columns and you don't have to uh, edit on all the places um, all the time so this is how this is some organizational uh, layout for such course uh, we show the video pop up so you just duplicate those as well and uh, you can add a new a new uh, video content for this one and of course make sure that you change the name because it will be easier to understand which is which uh, we use this separation uh, with the sections because that's easier for organizational purposes that's the only purpose of this separation and at the end we go to a workshop webinar sign up now this is again optional we just wanted to make this uh, template a bit more rich so if you're running some kind of workshops live events webinars stuff like that we created two options to sign up one with booking and one with a form 
uh, with the booking I, I think it's really cool because you can restrict how many people can join and register and um, you can have like an event created as an event in your appointments uh, with certain amount of people inside so this is just one example you can go and edit the the booking right away so basically you can uh, adjust everything your operator you can adjust uh, when it is going to be this uh, this group meeting how many people can join so this is I think it's an amazing way for doing workshops sp specifically uh, because yeah it's really well to organize and you can keep a specific amount of people who can join uh, now of course if you're doing um, a webinar which the more the merrier uh, then you just you can just have a simple um, a form and maybe even have like a countdown uh, showing when is the next uh, next uh, webinar and again uh, you can remind them after that about the live video you can create a live video page as well so that you can send them to that uh, page you can just create it as a new page mm, maybe you can have it as a yeah, even as a as an empty one let's call it uh, live webinar so the, the beautiful thing is of course you can add whatever pages you want to your funnel and create as the biggest um, the biggest and the, the most amazing course for your business and here for example we can add a video session maybe like this for our live webinar I could call it live webinar some catchy heading about what it is going to be and maybe some call to action uh, which you can actually uh, restrict to show after let's say 30 minutes in, inside the webinar so it will not show before that so you can time it when this special call to action maybe with some purchase option would show so keep in mind that you have these delays that allow you to do exactly that to show different um, elements on a specific time on the page but it's again people have to stay at least in this case 30 minutes on this page to show that um, so yeah just like that you can create uh, here and you can just link to the uh, video that will show or you can embed from uh, video streaming with a code widget so very simple to do a webinar page that you can share with people um, for your live events now if you want to have a section where people would buy something very simple you can just create a new section let's call it purchase and just create a checkout where people can purchase something so we have great purchase uh, you know designs uh, let's say purchase something and people can submit their purchases there of course you have to link a product you know link a bump offer or whatever it is and people can you can start accept, accepting payments from your users you can broaden it and have the most amazing like i said course funnel for your for a, your ideas we just added the most important parts which are getting started way to purchase a course choose a course the different designs for organizational purposes of your content so you don't have to build it yourself so we created it for you I think it looks pretty awesome pretty good and it is as you can see very fast just duplicating just pick a design you can of course um, you know customize it as, as much as you want organize it however you want before you start duplicating and make sure you have your global columns in place so that um, you know you don't have to do so much work again and again and again uh, and that's about it that's about this template I hope that you enjoy it uh, you can create amazing courses for your business or for customers of yours let me know what you think in the comments like the video if you enjoy this template and let us know what kind of templates you want to see for funnels for websites and for anything else all right this was done and talk to you in the next video